Hey guys, uh, it's Eli here, and uh, one of my favorite uh, vegetables to plant right now, the easiest to grow, is actually water spinach or uh, kangkung. And uh, this is actually three different uh, stages um, of the water spinach or kangkung right here. And uh, what I wanted to share is also these are all three different types of seeds uh, that I bought. And this is actually the uh, microgreen seeds that I bought on, from a different supplier. Um, and uh, it is kind of growing. So uh, what I also realized is, uh, you know, I mean, I just bought some uh, square container right below here. It's a four gallon container. And you know, this sort of uh, little thing to suspend it. And then there's nutrient water below. Uh, and uh, and this is actually about coming into uh, the second week right now. Coming into the second week. Um, this one is about two and a half weeks. And this one right here is actually about three weeks uh, at the moment. And uh, so I have a, a bit of a casualty right there. Uh, it kind of died. And, uh, and that's because I, I was using a way uh, thinner, um, you know, like probably half the size of this to, to put it. Um, and uh, I've been testing different things. Uh, basically, the, uh, I'm using this sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, grow container. And uh, if, if you have just raised this up right here, uh, you can actually see the roots uh, coming out already. And uh, I'm using a aeration pump. Actually, it's just like a, uh, a fish pump. Yep. So I just transferred it to this container today with new nutrients. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of growing nicely. Uh, it's very windy here in my uh, condo as well. And uh, it's just that back here, it has some casualties. Pretty sad about that um, because it was the, the water was not you know right there uh, at the back so again just trying different things out I'll see how this pans out we'll continue to update um, this one here you notice is not growing as tall uh, and, and the reason for that is I have this thing where I actually placed it right here like this uh, just to you know impede the growth and I, I kind of wanted it to be that way because it's I don't want it to grow too tall like that so soon uh, because it's kind of pushing out to the sunlight, it might, you know. So and I got I got a, a really thicker, higher uh, thing, you know, so that it's uh, it can you know can accommodate for its potential growth in the future. All right, uh, and of course this one is just uh, I was just testing different ways to grow, and yeah, it's not doing exactly well. You can see some of the roots are kind of dried up, and I was planting it in another grow tree and I transplanted it here. So I was just testing different things. Uh, and uh, right here is just a mix of pak choy and my surviving remaining uh, kangkung, uh, which I, I placed also in a DIY sort of thing. I, I, I bought this from actually Mr. DIY, uh, and I could buy five for eight ringgit fifty cents, uh, which is about two dollars US dollars. And then I uh, put some nutrient water, and I had this sort of uh, thing that I put here. Uh, because they said that if it's a clay container, you have to kind of put something to darken it to prevent L, LG, or people call it LG. Uh, and yeah, so so far, uh, the, these are all microgreen seeds actually. I'm just letting it grow. I'll let it grow to full term actually. I, I think it's just really fun to see it grow. Uh, here, I would, what I was talking about was uh, this. You know, I had this sort of a thin. Um, uh, uh, a container right here and that's why I transplanted it and uh, anyways this one is like it's just growing and the roots are you know slowly forming and I realized that uh, for hydroponics the roots needs to be out before you even transplant it uh, so even here if you take a look uh, if I were to raise this up real, just a little bit you can actually see the roots uh, actually growing really really nicely down there uh, and uh, and it, it surprisingly it just takes two or three days uh, after just transplanting it, the roots just came out really aggressively. Yeah, so anyways, these holes right here are all <laughs> badly handmade. Uh, I just used like a, uh, you know, 
a soldering uh, you know gun just to make that hole and obviously there's some cracks because uh, this is poorly made but it's DIY homemade yeah right so this is actually the journey right here and I will be uh, germinating another round of water spinach or kangkong right here really really fun to grow uh, especially actually I'm just starting out actually and I feel like really motivated when I see you know my plants growing this way right here really motivated really motivated so I'm gonna germinate I'm gonna create a video right there to germinate again and some of the things that I learned uh, while germinating this so I don't make those mistakes again yeah but yeah let's go there